Shalom Aleichem. Welcome friends and family to this most glorious, beautiful occasion, the marriage of Patricia Ann Fisher, daughter of Robert and Jeannie, and Stephen Greg Solomon, son of Leonard and Carol. Father Alan Neal and I, Rabbi Suri Krieger, are so privileged to be able to share in officiating on this most special, sacred occasion. Dearly beloved, we have come together in the presence of God to witness and bless the joining together of this man and this woman in holy matrimony. This is the day the Lord has made for all of us to celebrate a lifelong commitment. For today we have a bride and groom of different faith traditions, and they symbolize for us a lesson in love and harmony admonishing us to seek and find the elements that bring us closer to one another. They believe that their different faith traditions will enrich their marriage and their family. They see each other as reflections of their love and worthy of the sacred, lifelong union which they enter today. Truly, this is God's call to them, to journey together in love, joy, and faith. Let us pray. Our God and God of our fathers, grant your choicest blessing to this groom Stephen and to this bride Tricia, who are about to enter the holy covenant of marriage. They seek you, O God, out of the joy of their truth that their devotion to each other may gain your favor. They look forward to all the tomorrows, that under your protection, their home may be filled with the spirit of love and loyalty, faithfulness, commitment, and dedication to each other's happiness and well-being. Into this holy union, Tricia and Stephen now come to be joined. If any of you can show, show just cause why they may not lawfully be married, speak now or else forever hold your peace. <laughs> I don't hear any, any rumbling. I would love for you to take this cup and both of you hold on to it somehow. Great. This will be our first blessing. We will do this blessing under this beautiful structure called a chuppah. A chuppah in Jewish tradition symbolizes your first home together. It is symbolically open on all sides. There's a good reason for this, so that blessings can continually flow your way. And this is where you, all of you out there, become involved in this ceremony. Have your blessings flow, silent blessings flow up to this beautiful, beloved couple. And they likewise, can reflect them right back at you. They'll reflect their joy and love back at you. When we do the blessings, and there'll be a number of out, out loud blessings, as participants, please join me in affirming each blessing with a hearty Amen. I'll cue you. And looking forward to hearing you share the blessing. Our first cup first blessing is a cup of wine that both of you will partake in. Wine has always been a quintessential symbol of joy in Jewish tradition and in most religious traditions. Well, from here on in, you drink from the same cup, be it for joy or for challenge. It all comes from the same cup from here on in. Baruch Ata Adonai Eloheinu melech haolam, borei peri ha'agafen. Join me. Amen. We thank you, 
eternal one for giving us the blessing of the fruit of the vine. Take a sip. Or you can down the whole thing. <laughs> that was funny. <laughs> There's a little more. You can finish it. <laughs> Terrific. There are reasons why the rabbi is singing and I am not. <laughs> so we come in a few moments to a solemn and joyful moment when Trisha and Steve will exchange their vows. Before that, we reflect together on scriptures that concern the gifts of love and marriage. And this evening's first reading is a reading from that quintessentially beautiful Song of Songs from Hebrew Scripture. Uh, Matthew Heller, will you come forward, please? <laughs> I love it. Do you have it? I love it. Okay, well, I put it here just in case. <laughs> you have your own copy. Sure. Everybody keeps asking me. <laughs> This is from the Song of Songs, abridged version. I am my beloved, and my beloved is mine. My beloved speaks and says to me, Arise, my love, my fair one, and come away, for lo, the winter is past. The rain is over and gone. The flowers appear on the earth. The time of singing has come, and the voice of a turtle dove is heard in our land. The fig tree puts forth its figs, and the vines are in blossom they give forth fragrance. Arise, my love, my fair one, and come away. My dove in the clefts of a rock, in the covert of a cliff, let me see your face, let me hear your voice. For your voice is sweet and your face is comely. Set me as a seal upon your heart and a seal upon your arm. For love is as strong as death, jealousy cruel as a grave. It flashes are like flashes of fire, a vehement flame. Many waters cannot quench love, neither can floods drown it. If one is offered all the wealth of his house, it would not equal my love. I am my beloved, and my beloved is mine. I'd ask now for Christine Dunman to come forward. A reading from Paul's letter to the Corinthian church. I speak in tongues <clears throat> of men or of angels, but do not have love. I am only a res resounding gong or clanging cymbal. If I have the gift of prophecy and can fathom all mysteries and all knowledge, and if I have faith that comes more, can move mountains, but do not have love, I am nothing. I give all I possess to the poor, and I give over my body to hardship that I may boast, but do not have love, I gain nothing. Love is patient. Love is kind, it does not envy, it does not boast, it is not proud, it does not dishonor others, it, it is not self-seeking, it is not easily angered, it keeps no record of wrongs. Love does, love does not delight in evil, but rejoices with the truth. It always protects, always trusts, always hopes, and always preserves. Love never fails, but where there are prophecies, they will cease. Where there are tongues, they will be still. Where there is knowledge, it will pass away. For we know in part, and we prophesy in part. But when completeness comes, what is in part disappears. When I was a taught child, I talked like a child. I thought like a child, I re reasoned like a child. When I became man, I put the ways of childhood behind me. For now we see only a reflection, as in a mirror. Then we shall see face to face. Now in part, then I should know fully, even as I am fully known. And now these three remain, faith, hope, and love. But the greatest of these is love. We come now to the Declaration of Consent. If you two would please turn to face me. Um, I will ask you this question, and your guest would like to hear a very loud and enthusiastic response of I will. 
Patricia, will you have this man to be your husband, to live together in the covenant of marriage? Will you love him, comfort him, honor and keep him in sickness and in health, and forsaking all others, be faithful to him as long as you both shall live? I will. Say it again. Stephen, will you have this woman to be your wife, to live together in the covenant of marriage? Will you love her, comfort her? Shall I start using this rather than... I'll start again. <laughs> Stephen, will you have this woman to be your wife, to live together in the covenant of marriage? Will you love her, comfort her, honor and keep her? in sickness and in health, and forsaking all others, be faithful to her, as long as you both shall live. I will. <laughs> Since it is your intention to enter into marriage, join your hands and declare your consent before God. And please would the rings come forward now. <laughs> Okay, be with him and do it. Over here. Over here. There's the rings on my floor. No, just the rings. I can't move the box. Thank you. Well done. May God bless these rings which you give to each other as the sign of your fidelity and love. And now your vows to each other. Stephen, you will make the vow first and please repeat each phrase after me. Looking at Patricia. <laughs> <laughs> I like you very much. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> I, Stephen, take you, Tricia. I, Stephen, take you, Tricia. To be my wife. To be my wife. To have and to hold from this day forward. To have and to hold from this day forward. For better, for worse. For better, for worse. For richer, for poorer. For richer, for poorer. In sickness and in health. In sickness and in health. To love and to cherish. To love and to cherish. Until death do us part. Until death do us part. Trisha. Yes. I, Trisha, take you, Stephen. I, Trisha, take you, Stephen. To be my husband. To be my husband. To have and to hold from this day forward. To have and to hold from this day forward. For better, for worse. For better, for worse. For richer, for poorer. For <laughs> in sickness and in health. <laughs> it was the rich and the poorer that yes, did it. Yes, I noticed that. <laughs> that was good. For richer, for richer. <laughs> <laughs> In sickness and in health. In sickness and in health. <laughs> to love and to cherish. To love and to cherish. Until death do us part. You both have declared your consent before God and this company of family and friends. I pronounce you, husband and wife, may you in God's goodness strengthen uh, yourself and your family and all those whom you meet and be filled always with blessings. Amen. Amen. At this point, Stephen, would, would you take this ring and put it on Trisha's index finger so she can raise it up and we can all be witness? Stephen, would you repeat these words after me? I keep my hand up here? Yes, okay. keep it up. And um, let's see if you could face everybody. I'll, I'll give you I'll give okay. the mic. Repeat after me. Trisha, take this ring as a sign of my love and fidelity. Trisha, take this ring as a sign of my love and fidelity. I give you this ring as I give myself. I give you this ring as I give myself. It is a round circle, never ending. It is a round circle, never ending. Such is my love for you. Such is my love for you. Can you place that ring on Trisha's ring finger? Let's not drop them in the sand. 
There you go. Trisha, would you take this and put it on Stephen's index finger? Repeat after me. I am to my beloved. I am to my beloved. As my beloved is to me. As my beloved is to me. Behold, with this ring you are consecrated unto me. Behold, unto with this ring, uh, with this ring you are consecrated. You are consecrated unto me. Unto me. Such is my love for you. Such is my love to you. Please put that ring on Stephen's ring finger. Okay. We're getting pretty official here. But we got a few more steps. In Jewish tradition, we have a document called a ketubah. Ketubah is like an official written declaration of your love and devotion to each other. So I would like to call up uh, a few direct witnesses, even though we're all witness here. We have a few witnesses who are going to sign this document after we read it. Regina and Jesse and Spencer and Lori, would you join me up here, please? You could stand on each side of them, and I think you could turn and face everyone. Okay. Let's see. How about if the two of you hold this? Sure. I'm, I'm going to read this beautiful document, which they have a very uh, personally chosen. It's quite unique in that it truly reflects the beauty of their specific relationship in the context of their unique family, unique family context. Listen to the words, how beautifully they chose them. Bishwi'i b'Shabbat Rhode Island, ba'u b'Brit Hanisulim Hakala, Patricia, Bat Robert Virgin, v'Achatan, Dov then Leonard v'Carol. <laughs> the bride, Patricia Ann Fisher, daughter of Robert and Jean, and the groom, Stephen Greg Solomon, son of Leonard and Carol, have chosen this day, the 30th of Av, corresponding to the secular date of September 3, 2016, in Middletown, Rhode Island, to join their lives together in marriage. This holy union is consecrated with these mutual vows of lifelong commitment. Through this marriage, we are fulfilling our destinies. We have traveled divergent paths that ultimately led us to each other and this awesome moment. Our paths are relevant and formed, uh, ultimate, and formed us into whom we have become. We shall learn from our own paths and respect each other's previous choices. We will, from this point on, build a common foundation for the home that we will create based on our shared values and dreams. The building blocks will be love, mutual respect, trust, and communication. Our actions as a family will be guided by integrity, generosity, and compassion. We will help each other to reach out, reach our individual goals, and to flower to our fullest potential. We will share in the pride of each other's accomplishments and be there as support in a time of defeat. Through the joys and travails of life, we will travel as one. Gorgeous. Our lives will be enhanced with the traditions linked to our respective heritage, gleaning the essence from each as we continue to perpetuate the light of our ancestors through these celebrations. Whether our house is small or grand, it will be our castle. It is the place that we have erected stone by stone, imbued with our personalities, and that glows with the aura of our love and devotion. It will always be our safe haven, where we break from the, the hectic lives of the busy world, where we come together and feel embraced by the warm cocoon of our blessed relationship. Love is miraculous. One can hope for it, search for it, and pray for it, and it is only by the grace of heaven that we find it. We are eternally grateful for having been bestowed with this gift. We, in all earnestness, declare these vows to each other, and with a full heart accept each other as partners in love. 
blessings. Father and I, Alan and I will share these blessings to bestow upon you. I'm going to chant them in Hebrew and he's going to relate them to us in English. And after each one, again, we'll have a hearty amen. The first one, not surprising, is a cup of wine. Hold on. Mm -hmm. <laughs> you get to do this quintessential cup of joy twice. Little sand in the mix is actually, uh, I hear it's a healthy ingredient. <laughs> Blessed are you, Adonai, our God, sovereign of the universe, creator of the fruit of the vine. Amen. Take a sip while we continue. Baruch ata Adonai, Eloheinu melech haolam, shehakol bara lichvodo. Blessed are you, Adonai, our God, sovereign of the universe, who has created everything for your glory. Amen. Notice I keep holding on to the bottle here. <laughs> <laughs> Take the bottle, Baruch ata Adonai, Eloheinu melech haolam, yotzer ha'adam ve'ha'isha. Blessed are you, Adonai, our God, Sovereign of the universe, creator of human beings. Ba ba amen. 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 et ha'adam Amen. 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 Baruch ata Adonai, Yotzer ha'adam veha'isha. Blessed are you, Adonai, our God, sovereign of the universe, who has fashioned human beings in your image according to your likeness, and has fashioned from it a lasting moan. Blessed are you, Adonai, creator of human beings. 
So, uh, Amen. <laughs> Thank you for keeping me. Thank you. So, stasis vita gavitsion be kibutz bane haletoha, be simcha, baruch ataranai, misameatsion, be vaneha. Bring intense joy and exultation to us all through the ingathering of your children. Amen. Sameach te samach reim reim ha'ahuvim kisamechacha yisircha began eden mikedem baruch ata adonai misameachatam Gladden these beloved companions, Steve and Trisha, as you gladden your creatures in the Garden of Eden. Blessed are you, Adonai, who brings joy to groom and bride. Amen. In case you lost count, this is the seventh one. <laughs> if you're familiar with any of this, please join in. There'll be some la-la-las that you could join in also. Baruch Ataranai, Eloheinu Melech HaOlam, Asher Baras Asam Besimcha Chatan Bekala, Asher Baras Asam Besimcha Chatan Bekala, Gila Rina Di Hitzav Achedva, Ahava Veachva, Veshalom Vereyud, La 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 Lai <laughs> Blessed are you, Adonai, our God, sovereign of the universe, who created joy and gladness, groom and bride, mirth, glad song, pleasure, delight, love, brotherhood, peace and companionship. Adonai, our God, let soon there be heard in the cities of Judah and the streets of Jerusalem the sound of joy and the sound of gladness, the voice of the groom and the voice of the bride, the sound of the groom's jubilance from their canopies and of youths from their song-filled feasts. Blessed are you who causes the groom to rejoice with his bride. Amen. Well, oh, maybe, maybe you want to finish this cup after all that. It's a little sandy. A li a little, well, it's, it's the grit. That, right. It's the grit of marriage. <laughs> Because this is going to prepare us for our, our next ritual. We have in this wedding a truly unique ritual that, um, that we are all going to witness for the first time. It's a beautiful uh, original piece that, uh, that Steve conjured up. Because Steve and Trish are not only celebrating their marriage today. They're celebrating the union of two families joined together in a beautiful, colorful, blended com community of family. So you see to the left of the chuppah that there are some interesting sand jars over there, right? I'm going to ask the, the children of this blended family, Kaylee, Danny Ryan, Jamie, Sammy, Jake, did I forget someone? Please come around this sand table. Stand sort of toward the back of it. And we're going to, as we're blending families, we're going to blend the sand together. We're going to start with a foundation. Yes, I'm going to call you over to the have their presence here. We're going to start with the foundation of this sacred sand, the sacred beach that we're standing on. We have made this beach sacred simply by having this, this beautiful sacred ceremony to it. So we'll, we'll put that in as our foundation. We'll get 
And then we're going to ask Steve and Trish to each add some sound of their own. Take a look. And we're not finished. We're going to top it off with some more sand from both Trish and Steve. but also the beauty of this blend, splendid, splendid, blended family. <laughs> Can you give them, instead of a clap, oh, oh, they can do a clap, but let's give them a this time. Hands up. <laughs> Thank you. Go back to your seats and Thank you so much. bringing a, a heavy piece of equipment here that we're going to need as we come to the conclusion, concluding ritual of our ceremony. We're getting ready for the breaking stone. But we first have a, a final blessing that we're going to do together. Father, Alan and I would like to invoke upon you the ancient priestly blessing. It's taken from the Book of Numbers. And uh, it is a, a scripture that is used in both Jewish and Christian services quite regularly. May the Lord bless you and keep watch over you. May the Lord cause his face to shine upon you and be gracious unto you. Yisa Adonai Pana Velecha, Viasem Lecha, Shalom, Shalom. May the Lord lift up his countenance upon you and grant you the blessing of his peace. And let us say, Amen. Well, for this final ritual, Stephen, I think you might need to don those shoes there. Yes. We have here a glass that Trisha's going to put on the breaking stone. 
it's wrapped carefully so we don't get any splinters. This could be the hardest job of this whole ceremony because you really have to aim carefully, both for the sake of your feet and for the sake of actually breaking the glass. People always ask, why break a glass at a wedding? It's such a strange custom, and yet it's one of the favorite end pieces of a wedding. There are so many explanations. The one that makes the most sense to me, that resonates with me, is that even in the peak moments of our joy, like the celebration of a marriage, when two loving souls come together, we have to acknowledge that we live in a broken world. And the broken world requires each and every one of us, even in our moments of joy, to be conscious that we need to help repair this broken world. And the very act of coming together in marriage, that in itself is part of the repair. To come together in loving matrimony helps repair, bringing a little more love into the world, helps repair the brokenness. Just before the final words, I, I wanted to share with you that Steve has asked me to point out that the blending of the sand has a patent blend, uh, pending on it, and no one is to use it again without reference to Steve and his new company. All right. The second thing I want to say is, and forgive me for intruding, it has been an absolute joy to be here, and especially to share this wedding ceremony with Rabbi Suri, who has done nearly all of the work, so thank you. <laughs> Oh, I don't see it that way. But I'm sorry to hear about the patent because here I was planning my next beach ceremony to sort of <laughs> steal it. You, yeah, not you steal utilize it. it. Well, mm -hmm. In all fairness, I have to give royalties to Regina then. <laughs> here we well, go. Thank you, Regina. <laughs> all right, we're coming to final pronouncements. Tricia and Steve, you have expressed your love to one another through the commitment and the promises you have made. In the name of God and before this company, your family and friends, I now pronounce you husband and wife. <laughs> you may break the glass. Yeah. And yes. Mazel Tov. Mazel Tov. <laughs> Thank you. Will be the first time anyone has loved me.